We are asked to simplify each expression. We have 3z raised to the power of negative 11 times 6z raised to the power of positive 7. Let's first rewrite this expression using the commutative property of multiplication, which means we can change the order of the multiplication. Let's write this as 3 times 6 times z raised to the power of negative 11 times z raised to the power of positive 7. And now multiplying, 3 times 6 is 18, and for z, to the negative 11th times z raised to the power of seven, because we are multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents, which means we have z raised to the power of negative 11 plus seven. Negative 11 plus seven is negative four, which gives us 18z raised to the power of negative four. The expression is still not simplified though, because we need the expression to have only positive exponents. Looking at the properties of exponents, because a raised to the power of negative m is equal to one over a raised to the power of positive m, this is equal to 18 times one over z raised to the power of positive four, which is equal to 18 over z raised to the power of positive four. One way to remember this property is to write 18z raised to the power of negative four as a fraction with the denominator of one, and then from here, if we have a factor that has a negative exponent, if we move it across the fraction bar, it will change the sign of the exponent. So if we move z raised to the power of negative four to the denominator, it changes the exponent to positive four. Next we have two thirds raised to the power of negative three. Again, back to the properties of exponents. When we have a fraction raised to a power, the power is applied to both the numerator and denominator, which means two thirds raised to the power of negative three is equal to two raised to the power of negative three divided by three raised to the power of negative three. And again, back to the exponent properties. Notice how here, if we take the reciprocal of the fraction, it will change the sign of the exponents. Or as we discussed earlier, if we move two raised to the power of negative three across the fraction bar, and in this case down to the denominator, it will change the sign of the exponent. And if we move three raised to the power of negative three across the fraction bar, in this case up to the numerator, again it will change the sign of the exponent. So two to the power of negative three divided by three raised to the power of negative three is equal to three raised to the power of positive three divided by two raised to the power of positive three. And now we need to evaluate three cubed, or three to the power of three, and two cubed, or two raised to the power of three. Three to the third is equal to three factors of three, which is equal to 27. Two to the third is equal to three factors of two, which is equal to eight. The expression simplifies to 27 eighths. And now for the last expression, we have seven raised to the zero power divided by x raised to the power of negative five. Again, back to our properties. Because a to the zero power is equal to one, as long as the base a doesn't equal zero, seven to the zero is equal to one. The expression simplifies to one divided by x raised to the power of negative five. And because one divided by a raised to the power of negative m is equal to a raised to the power of positive m, one over x raised to the power of negative five is equal to x raised to the power of positive five. Or once again, we can think of moving x raised to the power of negative five across the fraction bar or up to the numerator, which will change the sign to positive five. And remember, x raised to the power of positive five as a fraction would have a denominator of one, so we can't think of this as being in the numerator. I hope you found this helpful.